Does mammography hurt? It is uncomfortable for some patients. Other patients don't feel that it hurts at all, and some patients say it's an excruciating two to four seconds. So it really is determined by the patient. A mammogram might hurt a little, but cancer and missing a cancer hurts a lot more. So it's really important to get that mammogram. So the best time to schedule a mammogram is in the second week of your menstrual cycle. That's when the, the breasts are their least tender. It's also helpful if patients know that they have extremely tender breasts to take uh, an anti-inflammatory like an ibuprofen, and that should be taken about a half an hour, 45 minutes before the exam. I think the uh, radiation dose is very important. So the radiation dose of a mammogram is very low. Uh, the risk is quite low. Uh, it's like uh, flying to New York or to Los Angeles for the weekend. Breast density is a hot button issue in the media right now. And the reason is, is because if a woman has a fatty replaced breast, that means that the background of her tissue is pretty gray. And a, a breast cancer is a bright white, typically a white star or white speck of calcifications. So think about a starry night in the sky. If you have a black or gray background, you can see the stars pretty well. So that means that we're able to find those cancers that much easier. We're looking for those white stars in a black background. That's fatty breast, and mammography is great for those women. As the breast tissue is more dense, typically with younger women, but it's variable, the breast background gets whiter and whiter and whiter. So we're looking for a star, but in a daytime sky, and it's harder to find those cancers.